All right, hi, my name is Ben Duran, and I am a senior admissions counselor with EMU or Eastern Mennonite University. Um, we're located in Harrisonburg, Virginia. This is just a nice picture of our campus, what it looks like in the springtime. Uh, but since we're in Harrisonburg, um, as like for you guys, like we're two hours away from Richmond, two hours away from Washington DC and around two hours away from Roanoke and an hour away from Charlottesville, which means like we're very um, close to like all the major cities in Virginia, which is super nice for a lot of our students to be able to take like weekend visits to like back home or like to DC up to go visit like everything that DC has to offer and everything like that. But also since we're in the Shen since we're located in the middle of Shenandoah Valley, we have a lot of outdoor hiking opportunities. Um, and this is something a lot of students on our campus like to do. We also have a lot of different like clubs on campus um, that will do different outdoor hiking, camping, canoeing, kayaking, different excursions every single weekend. So we have George Washington National Forest and Shenandoah National Park on either side of campus, uh, along with Skyline Drive. And then we also have the Shenandoah River and Massanutten Resort, which is a four season resort. And we even have skiing and snowboarding classes that students can take um, during their early spring semester classes um, for credits and stuff. Our average or our student body is around 1000 students um, for undergraduate and around 1600 enrolled in all EMU programs through masters in our satellite campuses. Um, on the left hand, you can see the our average scores for SAT is a 1090, ACT is a 24, and our average GPA is a 3.6. However, I do need to make sure I let you guys know that we are test score optional for this year. So all we need is an application to the school and then your high school transcript, and then we're able to make decisions based on that. Um, and also just note, these are just averages, so it is okay if you're below these averages or you're even above. If you're above, please reach out to me and I can talk to you about our honors program. We do have a couple new updates to EMU, um, such as our new lab facilities in the Su Suter Science Center, which just finished up on a five-year, $12 million renovation. And so these are pictures of different parts in the lab. Um, right here in the left top-hand corner is our new anatomy lab that we are able to have two cadavers in. The bottom left-hand corner is a student-built wind tunnel in our engineering lab. Um, that's seniors. Each senior has a different project that they do their senior year for engineering, and this student built a miniature wind tunnel. Um, the bottom right-hand corner is our new lecture hall. Um, that was the last part of the renovation where we're able to do a bunch of different collaboration and online and in-person classrooms. So this is a list of all of our, our, of our 50 majors and minors and then some different concentrations and then some of our graduate offerings. Um, but on the side is some of our popular programs of study, nursing, biology, business administration, computer science, engineering. And I also would add education into that field as well as some of our more popular programs of study. 98% of our job seeking graduates are employed in grad school or serving in a volunteer mission position within one year after graduation. And then these are a bunch of different rates um, and percentages for our last couple years. Um, I won't read all of them, but just to point out a few, we have an 81% acceptance rate to medical schools for the past 15 years. 100% of our teacher education program grads who seek teaching positions um, are employed within six months after graduation. 100% um, of our nursing graduates are offered jobs even before graduation, and the 91% of our nursing graduates pass the state licensure exam on the first try, and we have a 100% passing rate of this exam itself um, over the last couple of years as well. Um, and 100% of our 2019 accounting grads who sat for the CPA exam also passed. Because we are a smaller campus, um, our median class size is 15 with a 10 to 1 student faculty ratio. What this really means is you're getting a lot of one-on-one -on -one, hands-on attention from professors. They definitely become lifelong friends throughout your whole process that go on past graduation. What's also super nice about this is you can rely on them to get you, like have, have references written for you, help whenever you're applying for a job or for grad school, different things like that. Um, and you definitely will get a bond um, that'll last a lot of time with them throughout your four years at EMU. So another big thing for EMU is our experiential learning that we offer. So we have our internships and education practicums. Um, and EMU for a long time has pushed internships. And so every major and minor on campus has an internship opportunity for students. Now, some majors require internships like our engineering business programs and our political science programs. But a lot of times it is just optional, but it is available for any student. Um, for our nursing students, how it normally works is the first two years of being a nursing student, you're doing pretty much all your work like in the classroom and in our nursing lab on campus. Um, and then your last two years, you're in your nursing clinical, which is four different settings within the local area, such as our big regional hospital, our retirement community, and a few other options that you're able to pick from. 
So we do have the Washington Community Scholar Center, which is a smaller part of what I'll get into as our cross-cultural program. But for this um, part of the program is we own a house in Washington, DC. Um, and students are able to spend a semester or a summer in the house. So either the fall semester or spring semester or for 10 weeks in the summer. And while you're at the house, you're living with up to 14 other students from EMU. And while you're there, you have an internship based on your major and specifically what you wanna do with your major. And since like this is a completely um, run EMU run thing, we're the ones who set up the internship for you. So you're guaranteed an internship if you do this program. Um, and what's super nice is having this highly competitive area of DC, like as an internship experience, a lot of times students will do this in their junior and senior year because we find that we have a high percentage of students who get job offers right after their internships um, going on through that. Um, and then while also you're in DC, you do take a class to have by EMU faculty and professor. Um, but otherwise, on the weekends, you're able to explore the city as much as you want, um, hang out with your um, housemates, and really do whatever you want while you're up there, which is super nice as well. And you do receive up to 15 credit hours for doing this program. And now, like I was saying, that's a smaller part of our cross-cultural program, which is very much like any school's um, study abroad program. The only difference is EMU is you're not staying in one town and you're not like just going to another university in a foreign country. What you're doing is a lot of experiential immersive learning. So you're staying with host families, you're taking all these different like cultural immersive field trips. Um, like one of my coworkers, he, they did a Central America trip. And while they were there, they hiked volcanoes like three weekends in a row. And so there's a lot of different experiential learning like that. And so um, the, inter the other extra part about this, especially for EMU is, each student is required to go on a cross-cultural trip um, before graduation um, in order to graduate. And so you can do the DC option, but you can do these other options as well, like a semester abroad in the fall and in the spring, or we do have summer trips also for three and six weeks options. Um, one note is in case you are interested in playing a sport at EMU and you're worried about like how this would ref, um, reflect your schedule or anything like that, most athletes do choose summer trips to avoid any issues, but it is definitely possible um, to do a semester long trip as an athlete as well. Um, so we've been doing this for over 40 years as a requirement. Here is just some of our more popular trips like Guatemala, Colombia. Um, we have several trips that go throughout Europe, India, the Middle East, South Africa. Um, but we've visited over 80 locations in the past 40 years and we always are adding new locations as well. So we understand that there's a lot of, um, another big part of college life is the different events that go on. We have a lot of weekly and monthly, but even also yearly events. Some of our yearly events are our fall festival, homecoming weekend, our international food festival, which is a completely student run like food competition um, where any international dish can be entered. Anyone that is invited is invited to come to it, but there is like an official judges tasting as well. We have Royals Ball, which is a formal winter ball. And then some of our more like weekly or monthly events is Tuesday trivia, different theater productions, art gallery openings, open mic nights, different things like that. As far as camp re campus recreation is concerned, we do have a fitness center that's always open for students. Um, we do have intramurals in case you do want to play like some sports in college, but maybe not at the collegiate level. And we have a wide spectrum of sports that you can play. We have like the traditional like basketball, flag football, dodgeball, um, floor hockey, but then we also have esports as well for like Madden and 2K tournaments. Um, they do like a March Madness bracket in the spring around basketball, but then we also have like spike ball tournaments and more unusual sports as well. And then we also have a climbing wall that students are available to use um, during specific nights. Here's a list of our clubs and organizations. It's roughly around 30 right now. However, if you're in a club right now in high school um, that you don't specifically see up here, but would want to get started on EMU's campus, it's a very streamlined process to do that. Some of our more popular ones are our Young Conservative and Young Democrats Club, our Safe Space Club, Royal Ambassadors, um, our Cycling Club, and our Earth Keepers Club. Then here's a list of all of our student services on campus, such as our health and wellness centers, fitness center, um, our career services, campus ministries. The picture in here is actually of our student run um, or completely student run Royal Treatment Barbershop that we started a few years ago on campus. Um, and so if that's something that you do um, as a hobby or are interested in doing, you definitely can do that on campus as well. So another big part is um, EMU's faith. EMU is a Christian university affiliated with the Mennonite Church USA. And EMU's mission and vision are grounded in the enduring biblical um, values of Christian discipleship, community, service, and peace. Um, and EMU, through this and other requirements, are just trying to make unifying leaders that can make an impact after graduation. Um, and the best example to point to a unifying leader is Lama Bowie, who graduated from EMU in, 2011, or in 2008, 
and then won the Nobel Peace Prize in 2011 for her work in her native Liberia. Um, and EMU also has a very wide, wide and diverse campus with 50 different countries represented on campus, 30 different states, and 50 different denominations of faith um, and religion. So we also do have um, athletics at EMU for anyone who's wanting to play at the collegiate level. We are NCAA Division III. Um, most of our sports compete in the Old Dominion Athletic Conference, um, but men's volleyball does compete in the Continental Volleyball Conference. So that's the only difference. But here's a list of all of our men's sports and our women's sports. The most recent additions are our women's triathlon and women's lacrosse teams. Also, in case you are a fan of athletics, but you don't want to play a sport, fans do get in free into every game. And we do have different like rowdy Royals nights where we really encourage students to come out um, and we have different like giveaways and like halftime performances and different things like that. And they're usually always geared around like a big rivalry game uh, that's on campus. So we know that another big part of the college search is the cost. Our average assistance package is $37,000. Um, this past year, we awarded over $17 million in aid and 99% of our undergraduates receive financial aid. And there were, that financial aid takes the place of grants, need-based aid, academic scholarships, departmental scholarships, and work-study programs. So the last few steps, if you're a senior, I definitely encourage you to apply to the school. We have a free application online on our website that any student can fill out. There's no essay required or anything like that. So it's a very quick process. Also though, if you do have a common app profile, we do accept that as well. And like I said at the beginning, the only other thing we would need is your high school transcripts to look over your file. And then the next step after that would be submitting your FAFSA and then going on to review the cost of the school once we get that. If you're not a senior and you're still interested in EMU, I definitely encourage you to come out for an actual visit just to see campus. Um, and so you can also get in contact with me and so we can talk about like the next steps and I can give you updates and everything. Um, but yeah, that's it. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. Um, so I guess if students do have questions, just reach out directly um, and yeah. So you you all you all said you do have students online right now and in per, in person. Yeah, online and in person. The okay. majority of our students are in person. So okay, good, very good. All right. Well, we really appreciate your time today, and we will certainly stay in touch with you and let you know of any questions that we, our school counselors, or any of us have moving forward. So thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Have a good day. All right. You too. Bye bye.